Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking about 10 winter fragrances. So in this video here, I have a special guest. His name is Timothy. Anyway, his YouTube channel is uh, Tunes Reviews. Definitely check his channel. He has amazing content on there. I met him through friends with Manny from Cascade Scents. And we've been friends for a couple weeks now, just getting to know each other about fragrances in life. And I said, hey, you want to do a collaboration? He said, yeah, sure. So I gave him the idea of this. So I'm going to give you my top five winter fragrances I'm going to wear in 2021. He's going to give his top five winter fragrances as well. What are your top top five or top 10, leave your list down below. Without further ado, make sure you subscribe to his channel at the end of this video. But Timothy, the floor is yours. Hey Chris, thanks so much for having me on your channel. It's been really great getting to know you over the course of the last few weeks. And I'm very much looking forward to creating more content with you and getting to know you further and progressing our friendship. So thank you very much for having me on here with you for this top five winter fragrances that I'll be pulling out for this year. At number five is a fragrance from Slumber House. This is called Slumber House Back. Now I know that this fragrance and the house in general is a little bit more difficult to obtain and I get that, but if you can get a fragrance from Slumber House when they do release once or twice a year, jump on it. I highly recommend it. These are wonderful, wonderful artisanal perfumes and they are fragrances to me that are somewhat like a unicorn and I think everyone should have at least a Slumber House fragrance in their Arsenal. Slumber House Back is a wonderful tobacco and almost asphalt type fragrance with some brandy. So this is a very warm fragrance. It's very, very gentlemanly in my opinion. It's definitely got that like hipster quality to it, that vibe. You'd expect to see someone with a big beard and a leather jacket maybe wearing this with uh, some nice boots on or something like that. But this fragrance is very near and dear to my heart. This is one of my favorites from Slumber House, if not my favorite. And I highly recommend it for anyone out there that is a tobacco and boozy fragrance lover. Coming in at number four is from Tom Ford. This is from the Private Blend line. This is Tobacco Vanille. This is something that I highly recommend to anyone that's discovering more high-end fragrances or niche fragrances because it's not so far uh, in the way of difficulty, but it is definitely different than what your typical designers would smell like. This has been a favorite of mine for a decade. This was my signature scent for a while, and this is very evocative of holiday-type festivities to me in the way that it smells. It's uh, dessert-like. It smells kind of like a, a damped tobacco mixed with s'mores. So if that's your jive, then I definitely recommend checking out Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. If you have not, this is coming in at number four for my winter list. This is something that I wear a ton around Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. So for me, this is a must have. Coming in at number three is one of my favorite fragrances of all time and definitely my favorite fragrance from the house of Francis Kirchen. This is Grand Soir. Now, if you're looking for a wonderful, beautiful amber and vanilla based fragrance, I definitely recommend this one. This one just cuts through that cold air like it's nobody's business. And I've had a couple people actually follow me outside of stores before to write down what this fragrance is because they wanted to pick it up. So it is a compliment magnet as well. Number three, Grand Soir by Francis Kirchen. So beautiful. Coming in at number two is Nishane Ani. This fragrance is just so beautiful. It's got some citrus, ginger, vanilla, and sandalwood. This is very picturesque to me. It reminds me of being in a cabin of some kind with uh, beautiful mountains as the background. And for me, this is kind of like wearing a warm blanket, sipping on something really, really yummy, almost like uh, getting an embrace from uh, someone you really, really love. That's how it feels to me and how it wears to me. But this projects and lasts for forever. This really cuts through that brisk cold air, which is great for uh, upstate New York if you're familiar with the weather. So. I highly recommend Nishane Ani. It's beautiful. It's a great gourmand. Uh, vanilla lovers out there, check it out. Coming in at number two for me for my top five winter picks. And coming in at number one, this is a fragrance that I have absolutely been loving to wear. This is Dior from the Privé Collection, Tabac Color. Tabac Color. <laughs> it's kind of a difficult name, Tabac Color. But anyways, this is honey and smoke and kind of a damped tobacco leaf with some modern woods. I definitely get an ISO East super vibe out of it. I'm actually wearing it on my hand right now. But this projects and lasts for forever. It's got a fresh quality about it. It's got some gourmand qualities about it. It's got some really beautiful aromatic honey in it. 
I think that this really sets itself apart for a tobacco fragrance. So if you're a tobacco lover out there, uh, I highly recommend it. This is something I've been gravitating toward quite a bit and is going to get a lot of wear out of me for the winter. So this is coming in at number one for my winter picks. Thank you so much, Chris, for having me on your channel. I am really looking forward to collaborating more with you. I hope you all have a wonderful one and some of these fragrances I hope were helpful for you to go check out. Bye, everyone. Great list, Timothy. So now I'm going to give you my top five winter fragrance for 2021. So my list are gonna be banging heavy fragrances, just like Timmy's list was. What I'm trying to say is that is when you're in the winter time this year, it's gonna be cold. Maybe you live in a cold climate like I do, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Delaware area, it's brisk and it's cold. You want a fragrance that's gonna cut through the cold weather and it's not gonna be a slouch fragrance. So here are my top five, let's go. Number five, it's from the house of Creed, Creed Viking. I talked about Creed Viking several times on my channel. You guys know how I feel about it. Check this out, it's fresh with the peppermint, there's lemon, um, uh, Sicilian lemon, there's um, uh, mint, um, there's lavender. There's so many notes in this fragrance here. Check this out, this is just a overall peppermint barbershop fougere fragrance. There's nothing not like about this fragrance. Some people might say it reminds them of Old Spice. It is what it is. I love this fragrance. You guys know I'm probably going to wear this as my wedding day scent. Or there's another fragrance that's contenders to this here. But I'll let you know later on the video. But this is Creed Viking. I love it. It's performing amazing on my skin. I'll leave my video down below with the full review. But if you like peppermint, if you like lavender, if you like sandalwood, if you like vetiver, you're going to love Creed Viking. Definitely check it out, the OG. Number four fragrance is from the house of By Killian. This is By Killian Apple Brandy on the Rocks. Okay, so the original Apple Brandy came out a while ago. This is the new one they came out with. It's kind of like the same as the original. It's more toned down. It's more easier to wear in the warmer months as well as the colder months. It's not not, not a, like a heavy deuce kind of like the original, but you do get similarities with the original, but it's a more of a fresher take where you can wear it dressed up or dressed down. You do get the apple brand, you get the cardamom, you get the bergamot. So there's a lot of freshness in this as well as darker notes. This is a nice scent. I think you guys are gonna like it. If you like the original, you're gonna like this more. If you thought the original was too heavy, maybe too sticky, try this one right here. It's more toned down. Definitely pick up your bottle. Uh, I'll, leave my, I'll leave my boy Mikey D's information down below in New York. He'll take care of you with this one or Roses on Ice, Angel Share, Back to Black, Black Phantom, whatever killing you're listening to, I'll leave Mikey D's information down below. He's one of the assistant managers there. He'll take care of you, tell you casual fragrance on you, and he'll hook you up maybe with one or two samples at the end of the day when you purchase a full bottle. Number three fragrance from the house of Zara. This is Noir. So this is signature Noir. This is great. Um, if you like the original um, Zaharoff by, um, by George's brand, Zaharoff Porom, you're gonna like this one here. I feel like this is more easier to wear. It's fresh as the original, but I feel like this is a little bit more fresher, a tad bit fresher, more easier to wear, dressed up or dressed down, casual. Some similar notes with the bergamot. Um, there's oud, sandalwood, I think there's vetiver, um, patchouli. There's a lot of notes in this fragrance, but at the end of the day, this is a fresh, gentleman type of fragrance. Some people might call it a barbershop fougere. I can see that, but this is a very fresh um, kind of fragrance where you can wear this dressed up or dressed down. You can, this can be a business type of fragrance or you can just wear it as a t-shirt and jeans. Very easy to wear, great date night scent, maybe less sprays. This is great. If you have the original, you may not want this, but if you feel like the original is too much, definitely check this one out here. I love this one a lot. I went through a lot in this bottle here. I think I gave out one or two decans, I think, and a giveaway, but the rest of this juice has been me wearing it a lot to work, and I love the way this one smells. I love this over the original Zaharoff Porom. Shout out to George for making amazing fragrance. This is Zaharoff. This is Signature Noir. Definitely check it out. Number two fragrance is from the house of bond number nine, Bleecker Street. Shout out to Louisiana Fragrance for giving me a sample. About a year ago, uh, I was thinking about buying and he said, hey, do you want a sample? So he sent me a free sample. I didn't ask for it, but it's really nice and kind enough. And this is amazing. Um, it's sweet. Um, you do get violet leaf. Um, you get this uh, sweet tonka bean feel in it. I feel like there's sandalwood in this fragrance as well. This is a fragrance that it has a green freshness about it in the opening. Like you just cut your grass and I feel like it just started raining. That's how I feel. It's a fresh green 
earthy opening type of scent. This is fresh, does have some sweetness with tonka bean in the dry down, very creamy vanilla type of feel. This is a nice fragrance. Um, if you look for something that you can wear all year round, this could be a great signature scent. Um, if you want a signature scent to cut through the nice warm weathers and the cold weathers, you live in multiple seasons where you live at, you get all type of weather. This is a great fragrance. This is a great fall fragrance. Um, you can wear this fragrance dressed up or dressed down. It's just easy to wear, you spray and go. Maybe less sprays if you're gonna be in an office because this is a loud fragrance. You're gonna catch, people are gonna catch whiffs of this and they're gonna like it, but it might be too strong. But every time I wear this fragrance, I've got one comment saying, well, you smell awesome. What are you wearing? I wanna get this fragrance. What's the name of it? And then I show it to them, oh, that bottle is beautiful. This bottle is beautiful. At the end of the day, this is an amazing, beautiful purple and green bottle with the gold around the sides. This is an awesome fragrance, Louisiana fragrance. Thank you for putting me on this fragrance. I love Bond Number no. 9 by Bleecker Street. Definitely check it out. It's a goodie and it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Number one fragrance is from the house of Rosia. There's no other than Scandal. This is the Parfum Cologne version. So between this and Viking um, by Creed Original will probably be my wedding day scent because they're both great fragrances. It's hard to pick which one, which, you know, when that day comes, you guys will know about it, but they're both great fragrances. This one here, has mint as well, but it's spearmint. And there's lemon, there's uh, bergamot, there's sandalwood, there's vetiver, there's patchouli. There's a ton of notes in this fragrance. I love this one because the first time I smelled it was that Scent Explorer and it was I was head over heels. It, with that mint and that lemon in the opening is beautiful. It's just amazing scent. It's gorgeous. Is it expensive? Yes, 100%. Most of these fragrances I talked about are, are expensive. These fragrances will cut through that cold weather. You don't want to buy a cheap fragrance and you only get two or three hours and you're like, dang, man, I want a fragrance that's going to last me through the cold weather. This is the kind of fragrance that you want to save up the money and buy yourself a 100 ml bottle of this or any other fragrance on this list is going to help you cut through the cold weather if you live in cold climate areas. But back to this fragrance here, it's a beautiful scent. The name's kind of weird, it's calling it Scandal, but... Uh, Rest assured, it's an amazing scent. You can wear dressed up or dressed down. People gonna like the way you smell with the with the spearmint, the bergamot, the lemon, um, the sandal with the vetiver, the patchouli. This is an amazing scent and performance is great. All these fragrances are really great performance. I'll leave the videos down below. Where you can click on and watch it, but this is great. Easy gonna get eight to 10 hours on your skin and projection push for the first two, three hours. You will get noticed wearing this fragrance here, whether you wear it dressed up or dressed down. This is a uh, conversation type of fragrance. So definitely check out Roger Parfum Scandal. If you want to pick this up or any samples, I'll leave links down below to Perfumology, where they have bottles and samples, and VembaFragrances.com as well. Thank you guys for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, make sure you show your support by clicking that like button if you want to see more videos like this. Make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. And make sure you click that red subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.